Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Juan here at Up With The Sun, where I bring you fandom and lifestyle realness. I know it's been a super long time since last I've uploaded anything, <laughs> but um, the summer just got away from me and there's just been a lot of changes. And to be honest, it's hard to create content um, on limited funds, to be honest. Like there's nothing you can produce worthwhile um, without a little coin in the bank. And that is the realness part that I wanted to talk about for a moment. But I do have a fun, fun haul because your boy did get a new job. So <laughs> with a new job definitely comes um, more opportunities to uh, purchase things that you love. So that's what I did. Obviously, I call this a monstrous haul, but I don't think it's really that big. Um, but we all love a pun, right? Uh, so of course it is spooky season. I was able to go to several websites um, over the past couple weeks. Um, there were some deals that were <laughs> were uh, available uh, and that uh, I was very much enjoying. So the first thing I wanted to share is this amazing door wreath. Oh my gosh. So this Mickey head uh, Halloween door wreath. I'm saying door wreath, <laughs> not dory. <laughs> uh, of course, you can see here is the aesthetic here is beautiful with all the pumpkin heads and the spider web and then this cute little spider that dangles, right? So it's just super cute. I'm so happy that um, I can put this up on my door here in my apartment. And every time I come home from work or I'm leaving, when I'm returning, I can see this beautiful piece of joy. This was not cheap. This is like a $50 item. Um, but you know, when things are, they seem out of reach, there's, you can always make a way. So actually through Klarna, hashtag not sponsored, even though Klarna, if you want to sponsor me, let's do it. Um, <laughs> you can actually shop, shop Disney uh, with Klarna. So it's amazing that how many things you can actually minimize and uh, multiple payments so you don't have to come out of pocket all at once um, you know I am all about um, economizing when I can and still enjoying and not and I still have really nice things that I like without you know being doubted out because I spent all my money in one place um, but anyway I love this this definitely has the uh, mini and Mickey pumpkin heads um, and then it has this beautiful purple bow and the bat motif and it's just screaming <laughs> Halloween um, vibes and I'm, I'm just loving it. The next item I added to uh, my Halloween decor around here is this Oogie Boogie plush. <laughs> now, he is small but he is so adorable and I just love the stitching. It's very simple and it has this, uh, obviously this uh, neon green effect to him, but he has this little devilish smile and he's just so plump and adorable. I'm a huge, okay, I'm not the biggest Nightmare Before Christmas fan, but at Disneyland, when they do the overlay for Nightmare Before Christmas over um, the Haunted Mansion, it is unique. It is beautiful. It is something, uh, I, I don't know, you can't, I mean, if you've experienced it, you know what I mean, right? It's just so amazing. And Oogie Boogie, um, they definitely have elevated him and given him his own uh, party at the parks, at DCA specifically. And it's always the best time of year. Um, with Oogie Boogie involved. So, um, actually, you know, everyone should know that Christmas is actually my favorite time of year, but Halloween, without a doubt, is amplified with Oogie Boogie. Uh, he still has his price tag on <laughs> because I'm not getting this off. I'm not gonna return him, but uh, I'm just gonna keep this on a little longer. Uh, but he was retailing for $16.99 for this little guy. But you know, Disney ain't cheap. And of course, it has the longest tag that you can asked for it's like what the heck but he is plump he is cute and i am so excited to just display him in my living room um, as i'm walking by and saying hey boogie what up
<laughs> I definitely um, love collecting Oogie Boogie specifically for pins. I don't collect a bunch of Nightmare Before Christmas characters. He's solely the only one I really collect, um, with the exception of uh, Lock, Shock, and Barrow, but I haven't started anything like that. But if there's an Oogie Boogie pin, I generally like to get it. Um, and they came out with a new one this year. So this one says, Bad Bad Oogie, Rollin' Mean. And it's just Oogie Boogie. It's open edition. And it's just him looking cute with his dice. I'll definitely um, give a closer look to this if uh, the camera's not picking up. I can't see right now. So I definitely will uh, give you a closer look at this. But I love this pin. It's a pin on pin element with Oogie Boogie on top. And then it has all these little stars in the background. The dice is just hovering. And it has that same uh, neon green in the lettering here that the Oogie Boogie plush was colored after. So definitely love it, super cute. Um, I, like I said, I don't have a lot of uh, holiday pins specifically to be honest, but Oogie Boogie is the only one that I am interested in collecting as far as pins are concerned in that um, genre, if you will a quick intermission and show you something that I have been dying to get uh, for the longest time and I generally do not get the style uh, it's a lounge fly item I generally don't get the style of things because you know I have a little something extra in the middle right now and I don't want to draw attention to it but when I saw this I knew it if and when in the future I actually go to the parks, I'd love to take this item with me because it's just gonna be super efficient. And that is this beautiful 65th anniversary DCA specific fanny pack lounge fly item. And it is gorgeous. It's this beautiful white with the blue trim and it has all the icons of uh, DCA from Sorn over the world, around the world, to the Hollywood Clapper, to the Mickey's Pal Round with Bun Wheel. Um, so many things from the trolley to even the uh, World of Color uh, fountain display, uh, Flo's, uh, Flo's Diner um, is featured on here. Uh, Carthay Circle, oh wait no, Luigi's, yeah, Carthay Circle, Luigi's um, little tire shop. Obviously, we have the bear, uh, the grizzly, uh, grizzly peak, um, fireworks. I mean, and the 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 gates to to DCA are also featured on here, and it is just beyond. <laughs> DCA is my favorite park. Outside, I haven't even been there yet, but. I would say outside of Disney Sea, which would be my second favorite because I'm totally all about um, that society of explorers. Uh, I, I said that wrong, but you know who I'm talking about. But I love that, that storyline. But this definitely is a uh, marquee in that whole uh, DCA love. So I just love it. Um, I'll give you a closer look in a minute. But this front pocket, I have um, a big phone and it fits. The phone fits in this front pocket alone, which is an insane. Um, and I just love that the inside is this blue, uh, striking blue and just has the park icons in there as well. Oh, how could I forget? It has the, the roller coaster. It's now it's the Incredicoaster. Um, and then, oh, it has the, the cone too. Okay, there's just so many cute things on here. Um, I was playing with this for a long time <laughs> to like just, just to see the different styles that I was going to put it in. But yeah, this is so good. It's so flat now because I took all the fluff out. But on the other, on the big side here, you're like, where is the hardware? It just has silver hardware, but I'm meaning the placard itself. The placard is this gorgeous white placard right here. And it just says Disney Lounge Fly. And it's just efficient, you know, it has um, everything, you, enough space for like all like just little bits and bobs um, you would want to take with you. Um, I think you actually could fit a water bottle in the big compartment, um, you know, within reason, not like a big ass water bottle, of course, but you know, 
little snacks, whatever. But obviously I don't <laughs> use fan packs, so I have no clue what I would really put into this. I feel like once I put my phone in here, I was like, okay, that's it. But um, yeah, just little, little things, like a wallet, of course, would fit in here. Um, so many good things, but I am obsessed. I love it, it's beautiful. Um, almost don't want to use it because, you know, the white, but you know, you gotta take some risks, you know, but I definitely, definitely got it on a deal. It's originally retail for $39.90, but I did not pay that. Um, so I, I got this on, this is a, a box lunch item. So love it, love it, love it, love it. So happy to have it. Okay, so over the summer, I've had a new love um, come into my life. <laughs> and I was not expecting how hard this particular Disney property was going to affect me. Every time I see this Disney Pixar film, I cannot help but cry. Every time. Every, every, every time I watch this movie, it brings a emotional reaction out of me that has not been done since Coco. And that movie is, of course, Luca. <laughs> Luca, 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 which has been the film that had so much fanfare over it um, with allegoric interpretations and um, what it means for uh, the other, you know, people who feel different. Um, uh, that can see themselves in these characters, in this friendship, to a simpler time. Um, and it just really was just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I cannot get enough of it. I will watch it over and over again. I will watch videos, people reacting to it. Um, I just am obsessed. I'm officially obsessed. So I think that is like the, the next monstrosity thing I'd like to talk about is my obsession <laughs> with Luca and anything uh, related to it. So kicking off that obsession, kicking off that obsession is these, <laughs> is this. <laughs> I caught the kitchen towel uh, that's, you know, of Luca and it says, um, and it just features the town and the silhouette of the kids. Um, but you know, it came in a set, so it's, just, so it's the tea towel, it's the pot holder, and it's the oven mitt, okay? And it comes in these nice vibrant colors, um, with the dark teal, and then all these yellows and oranges and pinks, and light teal blues, um, that make up the color scheme of the town Potoroso that was inspired by Chincotere which is a real place of five uh, little towns in the enclave of the Italian Riviera. It is a real place, it's beautiful. Uh, definitely has been added to my bucket list of things to do before I depart this earth. So um, that was like, you know, getting the ball rolling in my obsession because the next thing I picked up was this. <laughs> it was this toiletry bag of Luca and I love it because it features a town of Porto Rosso and it's so cute. I will be giving up a, a close-up views of these things if you're not able to see them clearly. But I love this. It has a three piece. So the first big piece of course is the town and the water. And then you take this out and then you have I'm gonna set this down real quick. Then you have this smaller case which features our babies. <laughs> little bambinos. <laughs> I remember I'm totally I'm super obsessed. Um, of Luca and Julia and of course Alberto. And um, I mean, come on, that movie took over TikTok for a while with the Silencio Bruno. I mean, there's so many of those. Um, and anyway, so I just love how it's painted here. And I love that these kids are tan. <laughs> They're not whitewashed. It's very much respectful that these are Italians and these are the Italians in the summer and they do tan, you know, um, and it's 
yeah, it's wonderful. Not wonderful to see dark skin representation in Disney. And then you have the big cat in town, which is Machiavelli. He's featured on the back, and I just love this vibrant red, and then his little mustached face. Um, Machiavelli, as far as like sidekick animals go, a little overrated. Um, he, I mean, he played his part, he was so suspicious. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Luca by now, I don't know where you've been. Um, but yeah, it's just, he was all right. Not my favorite, but he was cute. Um, and then you have another uh, bag here. Of course, this is probably geared towards makeup and all that stuff, what people need when I don't have a lot of stuff like that. I don't even, I haven't even used it because I've been so afraid to ruin the inside of these. Um, so I'd have to get like plastic bags just to line it <laughs> to, to store stuff. But it's just been sitting pretty in my bathroom. Um, but and it has this third bag here that features the sea. Uh, underwater scene and then it has of course um, these lifesavers on here. A little random I would say how this merchandise was put together. Um, the cohesion of like uh, the way they, they there's not anything that says Potoroso Cup. So I'm wondering if La Gran Crocera which is like the great course or whatever um, when they're talking about the triathlon, is what they're featuring, is mostly geared towards an international audience um, because I don't see it as a Potoroso Cup specifically. So um, anyway, that's just like a little small tangent. But it does feature the boys here, their silhouettes of Luca and Alberto. Um, it's very beautifully watercolor, you know? Uh, type of design and just this light, light, light blue teal and of course on the inside is just the same color scheme. So, love this. Love this, love this, love this. And I love how cute this is, how it's like see-through. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, what? Like, look at this. Is that like a rainbow flag? Subliminal messaging. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. Oh my gosh. There's tons of bags like these, like different, obviously, characters, you know, Stitch. There's a cute Stitch one. Um, obviously, I wanted to get one. It's super nautical with this uh, white and red striping uh, motif around the trim. Um, super cute. Like I said, haven't used it. The pot holder and stuff, I don't cook enough to actually use it. It's just more for, of course, um, decoration. So those are those items. These Funko Pops. <laughs> This whole set, oh, 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 oh. Finding the set of the Luca Funko Pops was actually hard. They completely, they don't, they barely carry them in store anymore. Um, they were selling the whole set for, um, like on my car, you know, they're going up to like $90. I'm like, what the hell, $90 for five Funko Pops? <laughs> yes, one for five Funko Pops for a whole set there going for $90 on Macari. But I was lucky enough to do further research, keep looking, because uh, I am not about to overpay for anything. I do not like overpaying for Funko Pops, first of all, because I know that they're not really gonna hold value in the long term. That's my personal belief, that they're gonna go in the way of Beanie Babies. Um, it's fun to think that they will like maintain a their collector collectability um, but I just think that there's just too much out there. It's so much saturation. Um, the exclusives aren't as exciting anymore. I really do still love Funko Pops. I still love Funko. Um, but I am not as a fervent collector like I used to be, only because I have not seen great things really coming out of Funko. Like I see a lot of regurgitated things. So, but this is not to bash Funko, but the whole point of this is to actually say that 
I was able to get this whole set through Pop in a Box, which was awesome. They were like one of the only companies online outside of like um, Big Apple collectibles that actually were selling the sets through their website. So I got these uh, uh, Pop in the Box, Pop in a Box, excuse me, and they are adorable. I love these so much. Um, they're so cute. I remember when I saw the first lab shots of them, I was like, oh, okay, Luca, all right. Um, but of course I got Alberto Scorfano um, in his human form, in his very cocky, like he knows <laughs> everything type of way. Love Alberto. Uh, so I have got that one. And of course I got the whole set. And then Luca in his human form. And I like that they put mouths on them, you know, that they're not just like blank face. They're more animated, of course, to the style. Um, so of course there's the title character, Luca, and then the ally in chief, <laughs> the champ herself, Julia, Spulia, no, not Spulia, Julia. Um, <laughs> Cause they made her quit. <laughs> I made her quit the race cause she was throwing up. Oh my gosh. And she has Machiavelli with her, which um, is weird because Machiavelli is actually attached. I'll take, I'll unbox these and I'll show them, you know, out of the box. But um, Machiavelli is attached to her. Like he's not his own little separate thing, which is weird. Cause like Sabrina, the Teenage Witch Netflix series, her Fungo Pop comes with Salem and Salem is by himself. So I thought Machiavelli would be by himself. But no, he is attached to the Julia Funko Pop. And then of course we have Luca in his uh, sea monster form or his ocean form. And what I love about these, I'll talk about it more specifically. Well, I'll just talk about it now, is that the paint job on these, the um, the uh, the scaling, not the scaling. Um, excuse me. The ombre effect of the colors from blending to the green to the blue. Um, and then like the details of the fins on them from the hair and the tail, so done so well. Um, I was very impressed. And then of course we have the man himself, Alberto. I saw this item and I was blown away because it's not a lounge fly item. And I was like, good for you for coming through because this movie needed its own designer uh, cosplay backpack. And um, for some reason, lounge fly dropped the ball. They'll come out with all these other great bags, and there are great, some great bags coming if you haven't seen them. Um, and they had made some great bags, but they decided to skip this 
wonderful brand, uh, movie uh, merchandise opportunity. Um, I mean, Funko did come out with the pops. They just decided not to do anything uh, beyond that, which was weird. Um, so this next item definitely makes up for that. And I'm so, so freaking happy to have it. I paid full price for this item. I did not skimp out. This is officially mine. It is the <laughs> beautiful Luca Daniel Nicole backpack. And when I say, when I saw this and the double take I did, I was like, what? Was <laughs> so, uh, this just screams summer. It screams joy. It's, uh, it just has this beautiful teal color. Um, in the body of this bag that is so soothing. And I love, I just love that on the pier, it just has, the strap is two-tone. It has this darker blue and this lighter blue and then this teal. So it has multiple blues here. And then it has gold hardware and it has this nice uh, cream uh, strap here. And as you can see, I've not undone this. I don't think I will actually personally use this until like I do go to Chico Tere, um, which who knows when that will be. But till then, it's definitely just gonna be a wonderful collector's item in my collection. I do have a handful of last white bags, um, but this, I like the handle is really cool and simple. But of course the front, let's, let's talk about this front for a second. So you see here that it has the lifesaver and it says, La Grande Corsa. This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying I don't understand why it says La Grande Corsa and not Potoroso Cup or anything referring to the cup itself. When in the movie, I didn't really hear anything called La Grande Corsa uh, when they're talking about the triathlon. And then it says Potoroso Italia uh, on the other side here. I'll do a close up. Um, and it's like this is stitching. And then it has my boys, Luca and Alberto, in the silhouette here. And this ribbon, this uh, champagne, I would say, colored ribbon um, around is wonderful. And you have the strap here uh, that, that opens this. And then of course, <laughs> this opens. So this is see-through. So you can just store things. I would never store anything there, <laughs> especially as a tourist out of town, people jacking shit. Um, but yeah, and then this is still has, you know, it's stuff inside because to be honest, the Daniel Cole lining is not exciting. It's, it's just gray and it has Daniel Cole, um, all inside of it. So that's a little disappointing that it doesn't get more, you know, fancy than that, but it does have pockets on the side and it's beautiful. I love it. I love the color. Obviously we have the town of Potoroso up here in the background. It's just so great. I love it. Um, there's not many things. I mean, quality wise, I mean, it's a little scuffed. It has a seaweed down here, but, um, sorry, my allergies. But outside of that, it's been a wonderful uh, item bringing me joy. Uh, every time I look at it, it's just like this, this. Arrived. This is this is really it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It says Pixar. That's all the things that I was able to pick up between the end of summer and now going into fall. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please remember to give this video a like, comment, tell me which one of these items are your favorite items. Do you have any of the Luca items? Do you have Luca Pops? Are you obsessed with Luca? Did that movie um, you know, bring out emotions in you like it did me? Um, it definitely is in my top three of uh, Pixar films. Of course, Coco being uh, in that lineup. The third one, hmm, the third Pixar film. I really like Soul. I know that's really weird for a lot of people, 
Did not like Onward. Did not care for that. Um, but anyway, <laughs> let, me not, let me not get off into a tangent. I'm trying to wrap this video up. Uh, that third slot, I'll have to take a little more time to think about it, but definitely Coco and Luca are in the top three. Maybe when that new film um, comes out, Encanto, that will be rounding out my top three uh, because I will not lie, I love uh, people of color representation in Disney. There's not enough of it when you only have really Pocahontas and Jasmine, um, Mulan, um, Tiana, you know, this is a very small group of girls um, that, oh, Moana, oh my gosh, let's not forget Moana, Moana, okay, so, <laughs> um, you know, it just really does something for, you know, to when you see, you know, that representation, and so representation does matter. So, yes, so anyway, um, so be safe, tell somebody that you love them, because tomorrow is never promised, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.